G'day everyone, what's going on? Tom from the Asylum here. This is going to be a slightly different video. I'm not making something. I'm, I'm literally in the process of making a different video. Making something. But this particular video, whilst I was halfway through making a thing, there, this, this turned up. Got a package, heard the van door slide closed, raced outside, I'm like, what the what could this possibly be? We're not expecting anything for a little while. Things are still processing at facilities in Melbourne or they're on, I don't know if they're, yeah, like on the plane or probably by ship, I assume, because it's probably the cheapest way to ship something from overseas. Th 3D printer turned up. It's not supposed to turn up until halfway through October. But here it is, the Creality. My first first ever 3D printer. I've gone with a resin 3D printer because what I print is a lot of detail stuff. So the LD 002R printer. Let's have a look. So, top, we've got a few bits and bobs here, which we'll look into in a little bit. The all important. Oh. Oh! I got worried there because that, not an Australian plug. Luckily, there is an adapter. So it becomes an Australian plug, plug. somehow. We good. Release film. Go to the bottom of the thing. Packing foam. Top here. We have the plate. Some hefty. Packing the there. Damn. <sighs> so in the bag of goodies that we've got here. Brush. We got one scraper. 
little tool set, some Allen keys, and a little teeny tiny screwdriver. We have a plastic scraper. filters. These came with the resin that I ended up buying. Qualified certificate. Smallest certificate I've ever seen, I think. Data card. USB stick to put things on. The files to put on here and then to print off. Probably going to lose that at some stage. Try not to though. And here, user manual and stuff in Chinese and in English. So, yay for readability, warranty, and stuff, and things. And oh my god, I'm so excited to get printing. Now, to go with this 3D printer, I did go out and get some resin, because how do you print on a 3D printer without resin? So, what I ended up going with, well, I don't have any exhaust fan system here in the garage. It's literally just a regular old garage. So, I decided to go with this bag. I haven't opened this up yet. So I didn't have a 3D printer when it turned up. So I bought everything at the same time, you see. So, but I got this uh, tough resin with low odor. So, yeah, just in black. Like I said, literally never 3D printed anything in my life before. So, or, um, however you want to pronounce it, I have literally no idea. But that's what I'm going with. So I have to get me some nitrite glass, because I've been told, don't use latex, use nitrite. And I'm gonna start 3D printing, so yeah. Check us out over on Instagram and or Twitter and or Facebook. Links all down in the description if you want to see some of the uh, test prints that I'm about to do. Because, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as is, print something off, check it out, and we'll see what happens with it. There's, I've got, I've got plans for a lot of different 3D printing videos, so for that I do apologise. But... Mixed in with that is going to definitely be lots of DIY crafty things like I'm literally working on right, right here. It's a box. Working on a box thing. So hopefully the paint set turns up soon and I can actually print some things because I've got a whole bunch of miniatures behind me that you can't see. I don't know. Can you see them? I think they're here. There's miniatures there. There's a whole heap of them. Uh, if, and I'm going to be yeah, painting stuff up, making sick dioramas, and, yeah, all sorts of things. So, this is going to be a hell of a learning curve, but it's going to be fun. So I'm going to do things and the stuff with the thing here. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep filming the other video that I was filming when this turned up. 
so I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. 